Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you my review of the Acer Aspire 3. So before we start the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, let's get started. The Acer Aspire 3 is one of the newer entries in Asus budget laptop lineup and for a low price, it offers some great value. There are many different models of the same laptop available with different specs and all range from around $350 to $700 for the higher end model. The one that I'll be reviewing however, is the $500 version which comes in the middle with the Ryzen 5 CPU. One more thing to point out is that other than the main difference in specs, the other aspects of the laptop will be similar on all models. In this review, I'll be going over the main aspects of the laptop including design and build, port selection, keyboard and trackpad, sound, display, performance, thermals and battery life. So without any further ado, let's get right into the first component of the laptop which is the design and build quality. The laptop has a full plastic body but even then, the design is quite attractive with its matte finish all around and texturized stripe pattern all over the laptop. The Aspire logo on the bottom also looks neat and blends with the design perfectly and this is one of the few times where branding actually enhances the look of a device. Other than the looks, the body itself is well constructed as flex is kept to a minimum even after high pressure is applied. Portability wise also, the laptop is nice with its thin body and a lightweight nature weighing in at just 2 kilos. The post selection and input available is also like other Acer laptops which is pretty good. It comes with 3 USB ports, 1 USB 3 and 2 USB 2, HDMI port, a Ethernet port, a SD card slot, a headphone microphone combo jack and power in. Overall, these are plenty of ports but the big thing missing here is a USB Type-C port but as it is a budget laptop, I can let it slide. The keyboard and trackpad are one of the highlights of this budget laptop. The full chiclet style keyboard with a number pad is nice to see and typing on the keyboard is a joy. Key travel is good and the only weakness is that it doesn't have backlighting but the keyboard itself is very nice. The trackpad has a smooth glossy surface which feels nice and is also quite sizable for easy use. The trackpad is perfectly responsive and also supports multi-touch gestures. Sound quality on this is decent for a laptop. Sound is blasted through dual speakers which are unfortunately housed at the bottom of the laptop. That means that any audio you listen to ends up being muffled by either your desk or your lap. That is why I would highly recommend using headphones or external speakers for media consumption. The display on this is a bit of a downside in my opinion. It is a 15.6 inch full HD LED panel. The for LED panel is good but for the price of this model, it isn't ideal. It does have some vivid and punchy colors but the viewing angles are subpar and the color accuracy is not much. Overall, even though I would have liked to see an IPS panel here, this is usable for most work. The performance is where Acer laptops shine and this one is no exception with it having some incredible specs. The specs here include the AMD Ryzen 5 2500 UCPU, 8GB of RAM, a 256GB SSD and the integrated AMD Vega 8 graphics. With these specs, the laptop is able to perform extremely well in most situations and is even capable of higher end work such as gaming and editing. The SSD is quite quick and you can even upgrade the storage fairly easily by adding in a hard drive or just adding in another SSD. The CPU is the main key factor of making this laptop perform smoothly and with the AMD Vekite integrated graphics, you are able to do some mid-range gaming as well. The GPU is on par with the newer NVIDIA MX130 or the NVIDIA GeForce 940MX which is a good thing. All in all, the performance should satisfy most who are looking for a budget laptop. The thermals on this are actually pretty great. The laptop doesn't get warm even at high loads and doesn't even get as loud as you'd expect but the Ryzen CPU combined with the cooling here lets this laptop have good thermals. In the battery life category, the laptop doesn't disappoint. When doing work and browsing the web, you can easily get a day of use from this and with higher loads, it gets a bit lower. With whole charge and with medium usage, you should be able to get 7 hours of use which is quite solid for a budget laptop. So the final verdict for the Acer Aspire 3 is that with its solid design work coupled with its satisfying keyboard, great performance and decent battery life, this laptop is worth considering as a work or student laptop. The biggest issue with the laptop is its display which is decent at best but if you overlook that then this is an almost perfect budget laptop that anyone should consider buying. So that's it for the video guys thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.